Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As you may know, I've been to London recently and uh, I bought a lot of stuff, of course. So I thought that I would share them with you. So if you want to see this uh, London haul, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I bought a lot of stuff this time uh, when I was there. Um, I mainly because it's much more cheaper in London uh, than it is here in Sweden and um, I really love Superdrag and I really love boots and uh, uh, yeah um, so yeah I bought a lot of stuff and um, first I'm just gonna say sorry for the mess it's actually the evening here and it's Friday evening and I've been working uh, all day I came back this Wednesday and uh, I've been working Wednesday Thursday and Friday and I look a bit tired and also the ring light is kind of bugging bugging my glasses a bit um, but I think we'll manage right okay so let's get into the haul uh, first I bought uh, my cellar wipes or uh, not my cellar wipes but the makeup uh, makeup remover wipes I bought this Bioderma once. I have the uh, regular micellar water already and I love this. This is my favorite micellar water. So I thought that I would try the wipes as well. And then I, ha then I have the simple kind to skin cleansing facial wipes. And I bought these last time but I bought the wrong one. I bought the ones with micellar water in them. Uh, and um, I think Kathleen Lights uh, talks about these as her favorites so I wanted to give these a go as well so I bought them then I bought some um, skincare um, I can start with uh, one brand that's been um, really hyped lately it's uh, The Ordinary and they sell that at the store called Desiem and it was actually located in Covent Garden so I went there and I bought um, five different bottles and I bought this 100% plant derived squalane squal uh, it's for surface hydration and then I bought the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution uh, this is a 10 minutes exfoliating mask. Then I bought the Hyal Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. The Granactive Retonid, Retinoid 2% in Squalane. Lon, Squala, Lon. Don't know how to pronounce, pronounce that. Um, and then I bought the Alpha Lip oic acid 5% and it's a serum uh, I have never tried the ordinary before and I'm not sure in which order to apply them to my face so I will be kind of reading about them first before I use them um, then I bought um, from soap and glory I bought this, bought this one and this is the uh, wave goodbye to tired dull skin and wake up bright and pearly radiance boosting cocktail for instantly revitalized brighter looking skin so this is kind of like a serum and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, to using that then I bought the soap and glory super hydrating speed plump overnight miracle moisture mousse I've been really into night cream late night creams lately. I never used to used to use them before, but I can, like one or two months ago, I started to use uh, to use it, and um, my skin really needs it. And then I bought the Super Drug Naturally Lily Naturally Radiant Ren Renewing Night Cream. This I've been trying out now for a couple of days and um, although it has a scent of, I don't know, but it smells something, uh, 
I'm not a big fan of skincare that smells, but I think I like the actual cream. Okay, so then I bought more stuff um, from Sim uh, Soap and Glory, and I bought the Speed Plump All Day Super Moisture Marvel Super Moisturizing Day Cream. And it looks I haven't, I haven't even used it, <laughs> opened the box yet. Oh, okay, it looks like this. So I'm looking forward to trying those. Um, and uh, I was actually looking for a both night cream and day cream, and and I bought these boots. Tea tea tree witch hazel shine control day moisturizer, and uh, a couple of years ago, boots opened in Sweden, and they I bought it. I bought this one um, at the store here, uh, but then Boots disappeared and I couldn't find it anymore. So I haven't used this for maybe like 7 or 8 years I think. But I remember uh, that I liked it, so I'm looking forward to using that one again. And then I bought the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Water Boost Hydrating Gel Cream. And as I said, uh, it's much more cheaper in London, so that's why I bought like three or four day creams, and it looks like this. So I'm really looking forward to using that. Uh, my skin, the winter is here, and my skin uh, is very dry in the winter, so hopefully this will help. I went in to the body shop because I have their mask. Uh, the charcoal one and I love it and they recently uh, released the Japanese matcha tea mask and I thought that I would give it a go um, it looks like this when you open it up and then it, it has kind of a uh, greenish color it smells really good it smells like green tea um, and um, I'm looking forward to using this it says here it's a pollution clearing clearing mask so really looking forward to trying that one moving on to hair care um, as you can probably tell I really need to um, color my hair again uh, and I'm not sure when I will have the time to do that <laughs> but um, uh, I forgot to bring st hair styling with me, so I had to so buy some there. And I started off buying the this one. This is the V05 Mega Hold Gel Spray uh, for smooth, smooth styles and 24-hour frizz control. And actually, I really like this. I I love the smell of it. I love the curls it gives my hair. It's not like um, very tangled. Um, I'm not sure if you can get this in Sweden, but if you can, if you have curly hair, please look into this because I find this uh, much better than I expected in the beginning. And then I'm not a fan of hairsprays, but I bought this Tresemme Salon Finish hairspray uh, in a uh, smaller bottle and I actually love this. When I'm out of this, I'm going to buy a new one, I think, because it smells good, it leaves my hair looking good uh, and once again not very like how do you say it it's not so tangled it's more curly um, which I like and um, yeah so if you're looking for a good hairspray check out Tresemme and as you might know I use Bumble and Bumble curl curl shampoo and conditioner uh, so I went to uh, Boots to find more stuff that I can buy from them because I have a small bottle of a oil that I love so I bought it in a bigger size. So this is the Bumble and Bumble Hair Desserts Invincible Oil Invisible Oil, sorry. Uh, heat and UV Protective Primer. This I use after I've uh, showered, so it, when my hair is wet, uh, but I can also apply it when my hair is and uh, it's kind of a 
oil. It smells really good and once again my hair doesn't get that tangled with it so I can recommend Bumble and Bubble, Bumble and Bumble if you have curly hair. And then the sales girl who worked at the Bumble and Bumble uh, section, she uh, asked if I wanted help finding something and I said yes, yeah, sure you can help me. I'm looking for kind of a leave-in cream. Uh, for my hair and she said yeah uh, do you blow dry your hair or do you um, let it um, do you let it dry naturally and I said no I never blow dry my hair so she recommended this and this is the Bumble and Bumble don't blow it thick hair air styler can you see the H there and it said great hair days for hard to manage mains no heat no hassle so this is kind of a leave-in cream for that reduces frizz uh, and um, adds kind of a control and uh, but you don't need to heat activate it and I don't even own a blow dryer so okay I thought I would smell it but yeah It kind of smells like their other products. Uh, so I'm re really looking forward to using this. I've never tried this before. I think that was all the hair stuff that I bought. Um, let me get into makeup. So once again, I'm sorry for this horrible lighting, but you will have to manage because I'm home alone and I don't like to, you know, I don't like to <laughs> record when he's home, but it's when I speak. Okay, so at the benefit, booth or whatever whatever you say i bought these two don't they look pretty i think that it's a part of the christmas collection stuff so this one the round one it says california love and this one is called benefit hate ashbury and you actually take it off by pulling it up and inside uh, you ha we have a small size of the California blush, uh, uh, a normal size of the Gimme Brow in shade number uh, 3 and a full size of a Roller Lash Mascara. I've never tried any of these three so I'm really looking forward to doing that. Um, the California blush is new, it came this summer and it looks beautiful, it's kind of an orange, orange corally blush. And then I bought this pretty thing and this is the, it's called Golden Glam Slam Face and Brow Kit. And this one you open like this. And in this we have the full size hula bronzer, a professional primer, a smaller size of the Gimme Brow in the same shade as that one, a big size of a Brow Wow Conditioning Primer and then we have the a smaller size of the Roller Lash so actually there's a bit of a story behind this buy because I really wanted this I really wanted this one and I went to pick it up at Boots and when, I, when they tried to scan it they said oh sorry it's been recalled you can't buy this so I went and got this one instead and when I was at the airport the other day the day after that day, uh, they actually had the they actually had this one, and I was I was asking her if she was allowed to sell it, and she, she said yes. It was only recalled for one day, and they fixed the problem. So then I bought this. So I know it's kind of the same thing, and hopefully I can get the hula bronzer out because I don't want it in this packaging. I kind of want it in my hands. So I'm really looking forward to trying Gimme Brow because. So many people talk about it and say it's a, a good thing. Um, I don't know if you remember this, but last time I was there I bought a blush from Lotte London. And uh, this is the one I bought last time I was there and this, it's in the color Nick. And I've spoken about this in um, some favorites video. I, I love this. So I knew I wanted to get more from the brand because I've heard a lot of things about them. So I actually bought two more blushes and I bought this one in the color Sack, like the name Sack 
and it's kind of a darker shade and it's completely matte it looks gorgeous and then I bought this one and this is in the color Sane like the one from One Direction let me just see if I can get this open and it's also a matte shade and a little bit lighter than the other one and this is gorgeous I'm wearing it today but I don't know if you can tell because I have bronzers on <laughs> so I've used them both and I don't know what it, what it is but it's kind of my favorite blush formula then I got bought this ready set go matte translucent finishing powder that I'm really looking forward to trying um, it's kind of a regular white uh, setting powder so looking forward to trying that then I thought it would be fun trying some eyeshadows from the brand so I bought this palette and this is shadow swatch the rusts 12 piece eyeshadow palette and it comes with a duo ended brush that looks like this uh, and the shades look really gorgeous for fall as well um, I just swatched them a little bit so I haven't done a look with them yet but I'm going to because it's really it's a cheap, cheap brand uh, then I've heard a lot of youtubers talk about their AM to PM cool eyeliner pencils so I bought two one in the color smoke which is a grayish uh, color that I'm wearing on my eyes today I'm not sure you can tell and another one is mocha which is a uh, brown color mm. I love them it's it really is a MTP and wear on them then I bought two lip stuff from their range and I bought this gloss tip girl full coverage color gloss in the color bay friend bow bow friend and you would think that this was would be a squeezy tube that you do this with but it's not it has an applicator and then I got one more thing from the band and it's a slay all day long wear matte liquid lipstick in the color Han I think yeah, in the color Han. Uh, also looking gorgeous. Then from the Soap and Glory range, I got a blush, of course. I love blushes, as you probably can tell from my collection. And this is May You Blush Velvety Smooth Cheek Color in the color Cheeky Pink. And the packaging is really cute as well. It looks like this. And inside it has a mirror and this is the color of the blush and it also has a um, brush that just fell out <laughs> a little brush that's actually pretty soft and at Superdrug I came across a brand that I've I've heard a bit about but not that much and it's the Nip, Nip Plus Fab uh, they have a wide, wide range of skincare but of course I got the blush palette and it looks like this it comes with four blushes and they all look gorgeous I've swatched them on my hands and they really look gorgeous I don't know if you can tell but uh, they are a bit shimmery so this one is the darkest one and then this one is the most curly one I will definitely do a look with them so you can see them uh, on my face and then I bought also from the same brand I bought the Contour palette and this comes in six shades and it looks a lot like Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Contour kit and I think I will be able to use a bit of these actually uh, although I'm quite pale so really looking forward to using those I do really love the travel size section that they have at Boots. You can buy almost anything in a travel size. So I actually bought two hand creams. First, this is the Soap and Glory Hand Food, uh, scented with ori original pink rose and bergamot. Bergamot, and it's just a regular hand cream. Uh, I have this in a, a bigger size as well, and I think it's okay. And then I thought it would be fun trying out Boots Own. So this is the 
This is the hand and nail cream uh, and it says strengthens, string, strengthens nails and moisturize hands. Never tried this and uh, oh, it smells pretty good. I bought one mascara and this is the is it L'Oreal volume million lashes in black. Um, I've been really trying to find a new mascara that I like and before I al always used the Isadora one uh, but now I thought it would be fun mixing, mixing it up a bit so I've been buying a lot of mascaras lately but don't worry I only open one at one at a time because they do actually go bad. I only bought three nail polishes and the first one is from Lotte London. And it's in the color Just Dance. And it's kind of a duochrome green purpley shade. Uh, it looks really pretty. And then I bought one from Barry M. And this is the Socialite. I'm not sure if I already have this. If I do, I'm going to give it away. And then I bought Galaxy Green. And this is... It's... It's from the brand Barry M, but it says Boots Limited Edition. Uh, can you see the color of this? It's kind of a duochrome green as well. Uh, I love green, so I'm really looking forward to testing out that color. I bought a conditioning cuticle oil pen from Superdrug, because the last time I did my nails uh, at my friend's house, she said, oh my god, your nails are really... Your nails are really dry, um, you really need to oil them because uh, the gel I put on it's going to crack. So I had to buy that. I bought two masks. One is a sheet mask and one is uh, not a sheet mask. I bought the Garnier Skin Active Volcano Mask. This is a pore minimizer. Uh, I think they have this one in a tube and also in a jar. And I bought from Nip and Fab Dragon's Blood Fix Plumping Mask Extreme. Intensely hydrating face mask for plumped and youthful looking skin. So I'm really looking forward to trying that because uh, as I said in the winter time my face get all dried. Dry out, dry. I bought a mirror at Primark because I thought it was so cute. I really do love penguins so. From Tanya Burr I bought this Illuminating power in illuminating powder in peonies, please. And this is kind of a shimmery blush, but I thought it was so pretty. And I don't have anything from her brand yet, so I thought it would be nice to have something. Looking forward to trying that as well. And I don't know, I know I'm kind of the last person to get this, but. A while back the Sleek Solstice palette was the the it thing to have when it came to highlighter so now I bought it and it looks like this. It has four, four shades, a yellow one, a kind of a pinky yellow one and a pink and then also a um, cream highlighter. Really looking forward to using that uh, when I want to beam beam to the moon and then I bought this tree pack from Stila it's the um, written in the stars glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow set in the colors diamond dust kitten karma and smoky storm and it's kind of a glittery eyeshadow that you can put on as a topper or use it by itself I tried one of them when I was in London and I really enjoyed them so I think I would be I think I will be using these during the holidays. And last but not least in the makeup section, I went to Covent Garden and my sister always goes there when she visits London and she said you have to go into the Charlotte Tilbury store. I always buy lipsticks there and I thought oh well I don't need any more lipsticks, lipsticks. I'm not a lipstick girl. But then I saw this beauty lying there waiting for me. and. It's the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight. I know what you might think now. I don't need any more face sculpting. I don't need any more highlights. But I really needed to get this. this. 
So this has really really nice packaging. So you kind of take these two off and then inside it comes in one more wrapping and it says the secret that silver screen sirens have kept for themselves for years and then it opens up to a gold packaging that looks like this and this is the lighter shade I mean come on guys how can you not love this it's gorgeous it has a big mirror on it and a brown shade and a um, highlight shade uh, and the packaging is just gorgeous I know that you should buy makeup because the product is good um, but I'm a sucker for packaging and this was totally amazing and totally worth the money I guess I have to say thank you to my husband because he actually paid for it um, it's just gorgeous gorgeous I haven't tried it on my face yet, so maybe I should do a first impression video with these products. And that was the last thing makeup wise. I have a huge load from Lush to show you. So, okay, uh, at Lush I went totally bananas and got two bags. And the one has actually leaked. So I think I will be. Taking that in a second. So this first bag is filled with um, bath bombs and a bath oil. And the total amount of money I spend at Lush on Oxford Street is 99.65 pounds. 99 pounds! On bath bombs and shower gels. Oopsie. And once again, I have to thank my husband because he's the one paid. So I have the Bewitched Bubble Bar, and this was a cat one. I have a Christmas sweater sweater bath bomb. I have a pumpkin bath bomb. I have a double vitality bath melt. I've never used a bath melt, melt before, so I'm looking forward to trying that. I have the snow fairy jelly bomb. I have the Starlight Starbright Bath Me, ba and all this is also a bath melt, but it's a little bit bigger than the other one. And the last bath bomb in is Lord of Misrule Bath Bomb, and I think this was total, like, the greenest color you can ever imagine, so that's why I bought it. Check my Instagram if you want to see me use them, because I also take pictures when I just put them in that. Then in this last Lush bag that I have leaked, I have a Chris Tingle or Chris Tingle body conditioner. And this says cover skin with the feeling of fresh crisp snow by smoothing on invigorating spearmint and grapefruit oils for citrus and mint kick. And this is the one that you uh, put on in the shower and then rinse it off uh, and it's supposed to moisturize your body and this has a pepperminty smell and it's blue then one of my favorite items from Lush is their rub 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 shower scrub this is supposed to um, have sea salt in it and it says when it comes to scrubs we've we've got it licked with this fragrant blossom scented sea salt scrub for body and hair I've only used this as a body scrub and actually it's the first one I really used up uh, so I had to buy another one my husband likes it as well and this has also a blue color and 
It has a flowery scent, but it's not overwhelming. Um, if you if you're going to buy one body scrub to use uh, this winter, please check out Lush Rub Rub Rub. Then I bought this, and I don't know if this have leaked or if something else have leaked in this bag. But this is the Pink Peppermint Fair Trade Foot Lotion. Lotion. And as you can see, it's a bit messy around the lid. Uh, but I'm not sure if this is the one that has leaked. No, it's not. It is bright pink and it smells like peppermint. I have quite dried feet now, actually, so I'm looking forward to trying this. I'm just going to wipe it off. My table is a mess. There are things everywhere. I'm not sure what this is though. This is gonna be. It looks like something red has clumped up, clumped up on it, but I didn't buy anything red. I bought one thing red, but I'm sure this is that's not the thing. Okay, anyway, then I bought um, three shower gels. So maybe it is this one that has leaked. It's the Plum Rain shower gel. And uh, surprise, surprise, it smells like plums. It smells really good actually. Uh, one of my favorite shower gels are from Lush. I have um, just used up the, uh, one in the Snow Fairy scent and I just begin, uh, began on the uh, It's Raining Men scent. Then I bought the Santa's Christmas shower cream. And this is a red shower cream. And it says, when Father Christmas is finished whizzing around the world in his sleigh, he needs a pick-me-up. Uh, but I love <laughs> the way they package their shower gels. It comes in a plastic bottle and you can actually leave in uh, five of them to the store and get a fresh face mask for free or something. And it says, this product was made by and, you, and the date you have to use it by. And then it says, how to use. We don't need to tell you how to use a shower gel, do we? If you really don't know how, then we suggest you find someone you really like and invite them to the shower with you to demonstrate. And this one smells like... I'm really bad with smells, but it smells really good. A bit sweet, but not too sweet. I actually don't like the Snow Fair one anymore. I think it's too sweet for me. And then I might have bought this simply because it's green and this is the berry berry Christmas shower shower gel and it's a green color with sparkles in it or glitters in it and once again something has leaked I think it's the plum rain one because the thing that has leaked is kind of purpley so I'm just gonna wipe it yeah it has glitters in it can you see okay. And this says, when the snow is deep and crisp and even, walk in a winter wonderland with this fruity beauty. And I don't know if it says... No, it doesn't say what's... Yeah, yeah. With festive cranberry infusion and rejuvenating blueberry juice, your skin will feel vibrant and refreshed. So it's supposed to smell like blueberry and cranberry. Yeah. Definitely a Christmas scent. Oh, it smells amazing. You you have to buy. You have to buy Lush shower gels. And then maybe the, the Santa Christmas one has one. Yeah, and this one, on this one, it says, with the warming cinnamon infusion and spicy black pepper oil, your skin will feel, feel revitalized. Cocoa butter makes, makes for silky skin. While coffee infusion wakes you up and gives you a comforting and energizing burst. Breathe in the familiar cola scent and get your bubble back. Yeah, it does smell a bit like Coca-Cola actually. So now I am set for years in my shower I think and also with my bath bombs. <laughs> if I didn't miss anything, that's my London haul for you. Please leave a comment down below if you want to see a first impression. 
please leave a comment down below if you want to see a first impression on some of the makeup and um, please go and buy some shower gels from Lush because they are really hydrating and uh, it smells really good and uh, I love them <laughs> yeah so thank you so much for watching this really long video and sorry for rambling a lot thank you so much for watching take care guys bye